I have a, a really important story that I want to tell. I met my abuser when I was 19 years old. He was charming, and it all started, it all started amazing. Uh, and then one thing led to another. It started with little comments here and there. So it started with more verbal abuse, and then it started with a push or a shove or and then it became a choke and if I was like all right well if you really choked me and I'm thinking in my head if you choked me harder then I'm gonna leave but then if every time I tried to leave it kept getting worse and I didn't know how to get out and I thought that it was my fault because he truly blamed me for everything uh, and so I lost all my friends I got dropped by every agent and manager in the business because I was doing terrible at auditions and I truly felt like I was stuck. Um, I truly, I did not know how to get out and I didn't know there was a place that could help me. But also because I didn't know if anyone would believe me, I didn't know so I just hid, and I hid, and I hid, and that's when I finally was like, I don't want to live my life like this anymore. So I prayed to my grandpa, and I said, please just take me away, because I don't want to be, I don't want to be this person, because I was a, a girl with full of light and full of energy and charm, and this man just broke me down to absolute nothing. So on that next day is when he choked me, said he was going to kill me, and ended up strangling me till I lost my breath. But I saw, I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. I, I saw my birth to my funeral and I just remember seeing my mom. And it's like, why couldn't I reach out to my family? And that's what I love about Safe Horizon was because there is a place where you, you can reach out and you can talk about it. And once my abuser was in jail, and I was able to finally be set free from him. My family became my safe horizon. I was able to go today um, to see the shelter and it was beautiful to see. I have a 14 month old baby girl and I would do anything in the world to protect her and to go in there and see these beautiful children being protected means the absolute world to me as a mother and then I also know those mothers there too are so grateful because it inspired me to know that not only can we now speak about it but we can also have shelter and we can get help. Another huge fear of mine was my story because I thought that if I shared my story then people would view me as broken and it's been 14 years. I held it in for 14 years. But now knowing the platform that I have, I want to be able to be a, a voice for you guys. I will be the loudest voice 